hi. Say hi. No, no, here, right here. Hi guys, and welcome to the video. My name is Amanda, and I am officially, well, almost officially, a new grad veterinarian. It is May 31st, which means tomorrow I officially start my job as a small animal general practice veterinarian. That is so crazy to say. I honestly don't think it's sunk in yet. Like at this point right now, I'm feeling very excited. The nerves are starting to kick in, but they're pretty minimal I would say at this point. Also because I know that tomorrow I'm probably not gonna have a ton of responsibility because it's gonna be my first day. So I'm mostly just excited, but I'm sure the nerves will kick in the more responsibility I get given. For those of you who are new here, I just graduated from the Ontario Veterinary College about a month ago. This past month, I have just been relaxing. I went on my grad trip with my best friends. Everything has just been like super chill and I've been gearing up to start my job as an actual real life doctor. I can't believe it's happening. Oh my gosh, four years of hard work. Well, eight years of hard work, I guess. Four years of undergrad, four years of vet school has all led up until this moment right here. My first official job as Dr. Amanda. I really wanted to document my first week as a new grad because I have a feeling it's going to be filled with a lot of milestones. Some of those milestones will probably be really cool. Some of those milestones might be a lot. I am sure I'm going to be stressed. Um, and just knowing me, I will probably cry. I don't love change and this is such a huge change in my life. I'm sure there will be some tears at some point in this video. But yeah, I'm just so excited. I'm sure the nerves will kick in at some point. So grab a coffee, get comfy, and enjoy my first week as a new grad veterinarian. Hello, happy Friday. I just thought I would check in because I don't think I filmed much yesterday. Yesterday was my first official day as a veterinarian, which is so crazy to say. Honestly, I was just trying to soak it all in. Also, I was really nervous, so I don't think I pulled out my camera much. It went really well. I had basically no responsibility. Everyone was so supportive. It was great. I'm so happy with where I ended up after graduation. Everyone was so nice and I can already tell that the clients are going to be really welcoming and supportive of me starting as a new grad. And one of my mentors actually, the first thing she said to me, she was like, I don't know if I'm ever going to get to mentor a new grad again, so I need to tell you this, but this is going to be the first time and the last time that you are ever going to have your first day as a veterinarian. So make sure you enjoy it despite the nerves. That was like what I carried with me, you know, through that first day. I'm back in today for a half day because I work tomorrow morning, Saturday, tomorrow morning. My position, I work every third Saturday for just the morning. So it's not like it's a whole day of work. It's pretty easy, but it's kind of nice because then I get the Friday afternoon off. So not too bad. So I'm going to go in, do a couple cases and then come home and enjoy. But yeah, hopefully day two is as good as day one. Hello, it is Monday. A little post work uh, chat with you guys. Today was my first like, not solo day, like I had other vets in the clinic to help me, but it was my first day where I had appointments specifically for me, which is all fine and dandy, except I've been a vet for like two minutes. <laughs> Today is my what? like third and a half, fourth day of being a vet. And I just am feeling a little bit defeated tonight. Coming into this, I was like, there's gonna be good days, there's gonna be bad days. So I was prepared for the bad days and not like anything even went specifically wrong today. I just feel a little bit useless. Even simple things I need to ask for help for or I just need clarification or I have a ton of questions and everyone else has their own things to deal with. And then it's, you know, just me asking these questions on top of everything, which, makes me feel bad and makes me feel useless. I didn't even have like that complicated of cases today. Like everything was decently straightforward. I had a couple skin things, but like even skin things, I didn't have a derm rotation and now here I am having to do derm things. And I'm like, I don't know, I have my notes, but I don't have time to look things up because I'm stressed and I'm rushed and I have appointments back to back and I go to look something up and then my next appointment comes. And anyway, everything's fine. It's new grad life. I am a baby vet is what I'm trying to tell myself. I'm trying to remind myself that it's going to come with time. It's, it's fine. Everything was fine. Everyone got seen. Everyone got helped. No one died and we're good. I'm just feeling a little bit useless and a little bit, um, not overwhelmed, like maybe a little bit overwhelmed. Yeah, maybe a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> anyway, it's okay. 
it's gonna be fine. It's literally day four of being a vet. It's gonna get better. I'm gonna get better. I just wanted to document that because I feel like the last couple days I've been like, oh, it's been great. I've been doing really well. Not that I've been doing really well, but I've just, I've had a vet with me, like almost dedicated to me. So I've had someone to ask questions that I feel like I'm not bothering. So yeah, that's what we're documenting it for. So that you guys, when you are in my position, when you are a new grad vet and you have the days where you feel overwhelmed, you can know that it's okay and that you will get through it too. So yeah, day, I guess technically day three update. Today is the first day that we're feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Hopefully tomorrow is better. For now, I'm gonna go cut a link and then I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> From day one on this channel, I have tried to be as open and honest as possible and share all of the highs, but you know, also share the struggles that came along with being a vet student. And as I started out as a new grad, I promised myself that I would share all of it, the good, the bad, and the ugly, because it's not just me going through this, everyone is going through this. and. It's normal. <laughs> I just happened to talk to a camera about it. Today was my first euthanasia as a veterinarian. You alright? Yeah, it was a fun walk. Huh? Hi guys, happy Wednesday. I'm sure you can tell. Um, I feel a lot better than I did in last night's clip. Okay, bye. I just got back from taking Link for a walk and I wanted to check in with you. So it's Wednesday. Wednesdays are my day off. I'm really glad I just have the day to kind of chill, regroup, and then head back into the week feeling recharged and ready to go. So last night was pretty overwhelming for me. Honestly, I cried for like three hours straight and every time I thought I was done crying, I started crying again. <laughs> I think a lot of those emotions from last night were not because of the euthanasia. Obviously some of them were, but I think having to do my first euthanasia was just like a tipping point. The emotions that had built up from the previous five, four days, whatever it was, that were associated with all of this new change and the start of a new career. All those emotions that had built up, the euthanasia was just like the tipping point and they all came out. I am someone that doesn't love change to begin with. Um, it's always been something that I've struggled with. I'm someone who thrives off of routine. I've said it a hundred times on this channel, so I'm sure you know that. And I had just gone through like the biggest change that I've yet to go through, moving from a student vet to an actual vet. And honestly, I think I was handling my emotions pretty well for the first couple days. I, you know, was feeling really good. But obviously there was all these nerves and these fears and the feelings of being overwhelmed that came with that change that I think I was just trying to like push to the side and be like, okay, Let's get through these first couple days, we got it, and then we'll figure it out. Obviously they were still there, and they all came out last night. So I had a good cry. I no longer feel like I need to cry, which is great. <laughs> and now we're moving on and we're moving forward. Hi. Hello. Okay. Sorry for the, the panting. Link does not want to go lay in the hallway where it's cool. He has to be right here on top of me because he's a lap dog, right? Shploot. Yep. Shploot. Okay. So ignore the panting. But yeah, basically, all I'm trying to say is I don't want you guys to think my first week as a new grad has been like smooth sailing, has been easy. I feel like I have a lot of support at the clinic that I'm at, but even still with that support, there's going to be highs and there's going to be lows. And last night was definitely a low and that's okay. What I'm realizing that I think I said last night, honestly, to be honest, I don't really remember last night. I think I blacked it out a little bit. But what I'm realizing is that vet school did not really prepare me for my first euthanasia. And that is coming from someone who has worked in vet clinics since I was like 14 years old. Someone who has been a part of, honestly not exaggerating, probably close to 100 euthanasias over, you know, a 12 year period. And someone who has said goodbye to two of their own pets. I was not prepared to do my first euthanasia. I am so thankful that... I have that privilege to end an animal's suffering and that I have the ability to give an animal and give a family a peaceful goodbye to an animal that's been a huge part of their life. And it's a part of the job that I will forever be grateful for. I don't know if I ever could have been prepared for that moment. I'm almost relieved that my first one is out of the way. And it also feels really sad to think that it was the first of many to come. So yeah. Um, overall, I am feeling better. I'm still feeling a little bit overwhelmed and a little bit 
sad i think it's probably a good way to put it but i do have today off so i think i'm just gonna spend it hanging out with link i'm gonna spend it watching some of my favorite tv shows and i'm gonna try and just reset and i'm gonna come back to work on thursday with an open mind i'm gonna keep reminding myself that i'm learning i'm literally brand new <laughs> an absolute baby i haven't even been a vet for a full week so you know it'll all come with time and we're getting through it one day at a time if you're in the same boat be kind to yourself and we've got this new grad update number i don't even know at this point but it's june 12th i've been a vet for just a little over a week now uh it's monday last monday was absolutely chaotic if you guys remember <laughs> i felt very confident and capable which this is probably the first day since I've started that I kind of went through the whole day feeling like that and left at the end of the day feeling like that, which is a very nice change. Now, mind you, today was basically all healthy pet appointments slash vaccine appointments, plus or minus like a few eye and ear infections, but relatively all straightforward cases, but baby steps. We're learning the basics. And yeah, it was a very good feeling leaving work today, feeling like I did a good job. So yeah, there's your little baby vet update. It's coming. It's coming with time. Anyway. It's 8 o'clock, I'm gonna go eat some sushi and hope tomorrow is just as good as today. Several months later. Look who it is! Hi, thank you, it is so nice. Are you gonna come hang out in the video or are you gonna leave? Say okay, bye, see you later. Hello, it has been quite a while since that last clip you saw me in and a lot has changed since then. So I've officially been a vet for almost five months now, which is, like I said, it's been a while. In that time, I bought a house, which is where I am now, which is so crazy. So I'm officially a homeowner. I got bangs, so that's new too. And yeah, I've just been trying to figure my life out, honestly. So the transition from vet student to new grad was admittedly quite a big one, and it was a super steep learning curve. And as much as I felt super supported at the clinic that I was at, and I felt like I did have good mentorship, it was still a huge life change. And honestly, it took a lot out of me. I felt like most of my energy was getting put towards my job, and I didn't have a lot of energy left left for anything in my personal life and I feel like I'm finally at a place where things are settling in where I'm able to have a good work-life balance where I'm able to direct a lot of my energy to things outside of work YouTube included so we are officially back the last five months have been an absolute roller coaster so I have so much to share with you I went to my very first veterinary continuing education course out in Vancouver I did my first public speaking partnered with vet prep there's just been a lot of good things that have come with this new transition and I'm really excited to share them with you also I feel like I'm learning so much every single day I come home from work and I feel like I've learned at least seven new things so I'm just so excited to share the rest of new grad life with you guys. It was actually really cool to watch back this video and edit it now having been in practice for five months and having filmed that basically five months ago. It makes me a little bit emotional seeing you know the highs and lows of that first week but it's something that I'm actually really glad I have on video and something I'm really glad that I have to look back on to remind myself of how far I've come even in a five month period. And it's also a nice reminder that those highs and lows are not gonna be something that are just gonna happen in my first week out in practice. They are still happening to this day. This past week, I had a fantastic day on Tuesday. I had a surgery day. I felt confident in everything I was doing all of my decisions. I was like, I'm good. We got this. I handled a really busy caseload and I left feeling like really proud of myself. And then on Thursday, I basically just questioned every single decision I made. I had to triple check my math. I had non-diagnostic samples come back. I didn't know how to manage my cases. So, you know, we're learning, we're growing. I'm so glad to be back. I'm so glad to share new grad life with you. Next week, I will be filming a Q&A all about new grad life, answering all of your questions. So feel free to leave any comments comments or questions that you want answered down below in the comments of this video. I already asked you guys on Instagram and I have quite a few questions already, but if you have any burning questions about new grad life, definitely leave them down below. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> he said bye.